Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to enable SMB version 1 on Windows 10. In the latest build of Windows 10, you can no longer access network files or shares or devices that use the SMB version 1 protocol. So, we'll jump over to the lab and I'm going to click on the folder. And in the quick access, I'm just going to type control panel. And as you can see, there it is, it's popped in. So I'll just scroll down twice and press enter. And now from the right hand side, I'm going to select category. And then small icons. Now I'm looking for programs and features. Here it is. So I'm going to just click on that. And what I want to do, I want to turn a Windows feature back on that has been disabled by default for security reasons. So this is a temporary thing. You shouldn't leave this enabled. Uh, just enable it for what you need to do and then go back in and do exactly the same. But take the check away and allow it to turn all the features back off. It'll reboot and you'll be nice and safe on SMB V2. So if I just scroll down. And there you can see SMB V1. So if I click on there, and the option we need is this one here. It's the middle one, SMB 1.0 forward slash CIFS client. So if we select this box and then click OK, this is going to enable the option. It'll apply changes, ask for a restart. There we go. It's going to ask for a restart. It'll do some updates and then reboot. During this, I'll pause the vid to keep it down um, so it doesn't take ages and ages. So I'm just going to click restart now. And there we go. It's adding the feature. Restarting. It's just booted back up. So we're just waiting for it to uh, load back into Windows. Like I said, this is a temporary thing. You shouldn't leave this enabled. Microsoft have disabled this for security reasons. So uh, as soon as you're finished with what you're doing, I would suggest... Uh, going back in and removing the checkbox and uh, restarting just to be safe. The new version SMB V2 is a lot better than one and a lot safer. If you do have any devices on SMB1, um, it might be worth seeing if they've got any updates available, firmware upgrades, things like that, uh, to remove the uh, security flaw. Okay, so our machine is booted back up and I'll just go in now and confirm it's enabled. So again, I've clicked on the folder, quick access, type in control panel, there it is, second option, select enter, category, small icons, programs and features, turn Windows features on or off, Just populate in. So if we scroll down now, we can see that we do have SMB version 1 enabled now, so you'll be able to communicate with all those devices. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.